Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to extend your nails. So basically you're sculpting your own nails with gel moment gel polish. As you can see here, my nails are fairly long except for my pointer finger. That is the one we are going to be building today. So what we're going to be using is Clearly Frisky and Champagne Toast from Gel Moment. Then we're going to be using a nail form from Amazon. You can buy them on Amazon for just a couple bucks. So first off, we're going to start with the nail form. So how you do it is you just stick it under your nail. And then you push the two things underneath here together like that, put them together so that it's nice and tight under your nail, okay? Next up, we're going to use Champagne Toast. We're gonna start with the stress line, which is just above your nail tip, and it works into your nail tip. So we're gonna start with the tip and put our polish onto the nail form from the tip. Just helps to connect the two. Okay, and then we're gonna use whatever polish is left on our brush. Because we don't want it too thick at the base, we're gonna keep it very thin at the base, but we'll get more thicker towards the tip. And I have put the polish to the first line on my nail form because I don't need it much longer than that. Okay? So I'm going to cure that in my Pro Lamp 45 seconds. All right, so that's cured. We're gonna go for a second coat. So again, we're gonna start at the stress line. Bring the extension to the first line. And then use whatever's left to coat the nail. Okay, now this time I got it on my cuticles, so I'm just going to do a line around. And now I'm going to cure again for 45 seconds. You can fast forward 45 seconds if you would like, or you can patiently wait. There we go. Okay, so we've got our champagne toast. It looks very natural. Now we're gonna move on to Clearly Frisky, which is the strength of our sculpt. Okay, so again, we're always gonna start with the stress line because that needs the most. And our build. Can bring it back a little bit. Okay. 
One thing you want to make sure, because now that we're working with Clearly Frisky, we're wanting to build the nail and really make it strong. So we're going to always look at our nail from the side and look it over. We want to make sure it's even on both sides. And we want to make sure that there's no lumps or bumps or indents. Want to make sure it is even. Otherwise, your nail could be compromised and it could break. Using light, if you look and turn your finger, you'll see a strip of light. And if it's, you'll be able to see if there is any type of imperfection. The line will go from straight to being curvy, and that's a good indication that um, your, your polish is not even. Okay, so I just did the whole nail, and I'm going back to my extension. I can see that there's a little bit of a bump, so I'm just going to very lightly drag it up and down to create an even line. You'll want the most patience you can give your nail. Okay, that's good enough for me. So I am just going to do around the edge here. Okay, and now we'll cure for 45 seconds. There we go. Okay, so now we are ready to take off the nail form. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna spread it out from here, and then we're just going to wiggle and squeeze our nail form until the nail pops off. There we go. And we've got our nail build. But we're not done yet. So what's next is we need to shape and get rid of the straggly pieces there if you can see them so I'm just gonna file straight okay and then a little bit came down here onto my skin so I'm just going to lift underneath and file straight okay and I'm gonna do that on the other side same thing happened. I do find you have to work really fast with this product because it does self-level, which means it's if it feels like it needs to go down, um, down a slope, it will. All right, and there we go, we've got our nail. So we're still not done. What we're gonna do is take our cleanser pad, just clean it off from filing the nail. Okay, and now we're gonna let that dry. A little quick tip is you can put it in your lamp and let it cure for a few seconds and that will help to make your nail dry again. Okay, so now that our nail is dry, we're going to take our Clearly Frisky again And we're going to do some thicker coats. Again, making sure that the base stays thin. Because when it grows out, you don't want this big chunk to be there. It will snag on your hair. It will feel funny. So you want to make sure that you keep the base thin. Again, I'm looking at it from the side making sure that it's even. Okay. 
looking and my lines seem to be pretty straight so now I'm going to cap I'm going to go across the tip and on the side okay I'm going to wipe my cuticles and there we go we'll cure for another 45 seconds There we go. So we're gonna do one more coat and that will be it. And capping. Okay. Now I'm just going to go over it. I wipe my brush off so there's no excess polish. Just want to make sure that there's no clumping at the base. Now I'm going to check in the light. Make sure that it's even. So there's one little line here that I'm just going to fix just by running my polish brush along it. Okay, and that evened out. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna cure it, and this will be the last time. Oh, before that, I'm going to wipe my cuticles. There we go. And there you go. You've got your nail build. There you go. And it's actually a little, it's more square than my natural nail, but nonetheless, it's the same length. And now I can paint my nails. Thank you very much for watching. And just so you know, you can do whatever length of nail that you want. There's different lines here. You can also style it differently, so if you do extra long, you can put it into stiletto, you can do coffin nails, almond, whatever you want. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope it was of value to you. Have a good day.